हाई इन्वेस्टर्स वेलकम टू एस वाई सी तो इस सेशन में हम क्या सीखने वाले हैं फर्स्ट थिंग डेट वी विल लर्न इज दैट हाउ अ फॉरेंसिक चेकलिस्ट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर यू कि इंडियन कॉन्टेक्स में अगर आपके पास अकाउंटिंग चेकलिस्ट या फॉरेंसिक चेकलिस्ट है तो आपके लिए वो क्यों बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है सेकेंड थिंग डेट वी विल लर्न इन दिस सेशन इज की वॉट इज क्वांट इन्वेस्टिंग एंड क्वांट इन्वेस्टिंग चलती कैसे है तो क्वांट इन्वेस्टिंग के बहुत सारे डिफरेंट फ्रेमवर्क आ रखे हैं सो हाउ डज क्वांट इन्वेस्टिंग एक्चुअली वर्क दिस इज वॉट वील लर्न एंड फाइनली वॉट वी विल लर्न कि एज अ यंग इन्वेस्टर आपको अपनी जर्नी स्टार्ट करनी है तो आप अपनी जर्नी कैसे स्टार्ट कर सकते हैं एंड वाई रीडिंग is such an important part of your journey so to to, to teach us about all these three things today we have with us mr saurav mukherjee and krishnan and both of them work at marcellus so mr saurav mukherjee is a founder of marcellus and sasa he is also the author of very interesting books like unusual billionaires uh, like coffee can investing and finally diamonds in the dust and ye three books as an investor aapke liye padhne ke liye bahut important hai because indian context mein itni zyada investing literature available nahi hai agar aapko seekhne ki indian कॉन्टेक्स में मल्टीपल केस स्टडीज कौन कौन सी है हिस्टोरिकल बिजनेसेस की कि पहले 2003 टू 8 में क्या हुआ था 8 के बाद क्या हुआ एंड ग्रेट बिजनेस फ्रेंचाइजीज बिल्ड कैसे होती हैं सो दीज थ्री बुक्स आर अ मस्ट रीड बुक फॉर यू एंड स्पेशली अनयूजुअल बिलियन एयर्स से अगर मैं अपनी इन्वेस्टिंग जर्नी की बात करूं तो अनयूजुअल बिलियन एयर्स हैड अ वेरी डीप इंपैक्ट बिकॉज उस बुक की वजह से आई कुड एक्चुअली फिगर आउट कि रिटर्न रेशियोज क्यों इंपॉर्टेंट होती हैं एक कंपनी की स्टोरी को आपको कैसे जानना चाहिए एंड वॉट आर द रेड फ्लैग्स विच कम्स इन टू डिफरेंट बिजनेसेज सो विद दिस वील स्टार्ट the session Said, uh, ये कैसे मैं तो इकोनॉमिस्ट हूँ मेरे को तो इकोनॉमिक्स आती है वो स्टॉक मार्केट में क्या अहमियत है इसकी एंड शी एक्सप्लेन टू मी दैट दैट द वैल्यू ऑफ अ कंपनी फर्स्ट टाइम इन माय लाइफ समबडी टोल मी द वैल्यू ऑफ अ कंपनी इज द डिस्काउंटेड कैश फ्लोज ऑफ द कंपनी डिस्काउंटेड बाय द अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल द रूल्स वी एस्टेब्लिश वेरी अर्ली ऑन इन आर लाइफ वॉक फर्स्टली हम चोर प्रमोटर के साथ जुड़ेंगे नहीं विनोद कामली वॉज वॉज मोर फोकस्ड ऑन ग्लोरी एंड फ्लेयर राइट आर्ग्यूबली अ मोर टैलेंटेड प्लेयर दैन सचिन तेंदुलकर but more focused on glory and flair sachin tendulkar was focused on risk adjusted returns hi investors finally uh, welcome to this session and this is a session which i have been planning to do for a long period of time now and finally saurabh sir gave us time along with mr krishnan so welcome saurabh sir and welcome krishnan to the channel to, to soic channel thank you ashmoy thank you for inviting us thank you ashmoy uh, thank you sir sir uh, just to start with so just for uh, all the audience to get an idea how did you start your investing career and how did you start your investing journey so project accidentally tha uh, so so i grew up uh, after the age of 14 i grew up in the uk so after studying at the lsci i uh, worked with a gentleman called john k uh, he remains our guru in fact he's visiting india uh, next week to meet us and a few of our clients so um, John's firm had sent me to the UK financial regulator to help the regulator with uh, with rule changes and the impact of the rule changes on the British financial system. So, वहाँ पे एक lady मिली मेरे को Nicola Arnold उसका नाम था. So she became a friend and एक दिन Nicola और मैं lunch कर रहे थे. तो उसने मुझसे बोला. She said that look the sort of work that you do, the sort of thinking that you do, that will be very useful in the stock market. So I said uh, ये कैसे मैं तो economist हूँ मेरे को तो economics आती है. वो stock market में क्या है मेरे देश की. And she explained to me that. that the value of a company first time in my life somebody told me the value of a company is the discounted cash flows of the company discounted by the opportunity cost of capital right now for an economist that's that's completely understandable ki company ki value hai future cash flows to discount karo at the opportunity cost of capital so i said ye to kafi aasan lag raha hai she says there's something called cfa cfa uh, 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 society hai usme tu join kar ja pass the cfa exams you'll have a very interesting career in the stock market so that was 2001 ish mohit and right. uh, i logged on to the cfa society website syllabus kafi aasan lagi to main local train mein aate jaate up and down mein maine cfa exam ka padhai karke pass kar gaya and then two years later i got a job in the in a in a startup uh, uh, as a as a as a sell side analyst in the year 2003 it's been 20 years of uh, doing much the same in the uk and now in india right sir right and uh, sir one one interesting question because i've read about your journey a lot of times so when you came back to india and initially you saw the markets 
how how different was it as compared to the western markets and what was your initial experience while dealing with indian promoters and while doing research on indian businesses so i think I'll, let me talk about the two positives and then i'll talk about the two negatives i think the first positive is when i came to india and i now that i still live here the sort of brain power that you get right so say people of krishna and talent right this guy is uh, uh, he can think about investing qualitatively he can think about investing quantitatively krishna can code code uh, take a forensic algo and code it in python but krishna can also uh, uh, think about uh, comparative advantage in a qualitative sense so jis prakar ka jis prakar ka brain power hamare country mein hai on finance on accounting i don't think any other country remotely matches india and i, and I include the united states i don't think the united states i don't think usa can match india in the depth of talent uh, our system has right many of the people who will be watching this uh, this web- video this webinar will be amongst the finest young talent in finance anywhere in the world and that has that has positive implications for our business there is positive implications for the country the dusra positive jo india ka hai jo turant dikha mere ko is when you look at indian companies well run indian companies you can see that they are able to grow revenues at in double digits low double digits profits in high teens and free cash flows in mid 20s and these are large companies even a titan an asian paints a pedalite um a a a dvs lab and dr lal path lab agar aap unke 5 saal 10 saal ke aankde dekho they are growing free cash flows at a terrific rate 10x in 10 years 100x in 20 years you're not going to find any large economy including china which can do that china mein actually large companies ka free cash flow anda hai zero right mm-hmm. our country is uniquely gifted uh, uniquely Uh, 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 benefited by having a whole clutch of well-run companies which grow free cash flows at a terrific rate. The two downsides of India are amongst the large stock markets. Ours remains uh, a market where accounting fraud ka incidence abhi bhi uh, it's a little too high for comfort. When I came to India, it was very easy to see large companies whose books were completely fabricated. You would read the annual report. एक घंटे में दिख जाता था कि ये तो पूरा joke है. And you know it's a sad joke because the joke is on the poor retail investor. जिसका पैसा ये बड़े बड़े कंपनी में लगाया जाता है आई थिंक द सिचुएशन इज इंप्रूव्ड ओवर द लास्ट 10 इयर्स द इंसिडेंस ऑफ अकाउंटिंग फ्रॉड इज रिड्यूस्ड बट वी स्टिल हैव अ अ सीरियस चैलेंज ऑन दैट फ्रंट एंड वी नीड टू डू मोर एज अ कंट्री टू स्क्वीज नॉटी कंपनीज आउट ऑफ द द स्टॉक मार्केट एंड द अदर बिग डिफरेंस आई सॉ इन इंडिया एंड आई स्टिल सी इज मोस्ट इंडियन फैमिलीज इन्वेस्ट 80 90% ऑफ द वेल्थ इन रियल एस्टेट एंड एंड गोल्ड एक अजीब सा नशा है हमारे देश में वे पीपल कांस्टेंटली बाय फ्लैट्स इन यू नो लोअर परेल इन बॉम्बे और मुलुंड इन बॉम्बे और गुरगांव और नोएडा या सरजापुर या एक एक अजीब सा एक टेंडेंसी है कि मेहनत करते हैं लोग इंडियन सेव अ लॉट ऑफ मनी बट आर इन्वेस्टमेंट्स टेंड टू बी लो इल्डिंग इन्वेस्टमेंट्स इन रियल एस्टेट इन गोल्ड एंड दैट्स अ शेम बिकॉज मेहनत का पूरा फल लोगों को मिलता नहीं है and uh, sir i think one of the interesting things like initially like when you okay, came to the indian markets you might have seen a lot of infrastructure companies were the, like Ajit. were in the boom but the cash flows were literally negative and those companies were projecting ki so, is, that that is a cycle i think any every country goes so every decade a new type of dodgy company emerges har decade right. ka flavor hota hai us decade mein lootne ka naya tarika so 90s mein india mein late 90s mein it was it services companies right i think kuch 400 500 IT services companies ka IPO hua late 90s mein barring two or three say nhcl tech or a wipro none of them are around anymore as you were saying 2007 to 2007 to 11 was the era of power and infrastructure again most of them most of them ka ata pata la pata ho gaya hai right and then 2014 15 16 was the era of the dodgy lender dodgy private sector lender nbfc mein banks mein जिसका स्टॉक प्राइस अस्सी नब्बे परसेंट करेक्ट कर गया एंड हाल ही में चला है लास्ट चार पांच साल में ये डॉट कॉम वालों का न्यू इकोनॉमी वालों का जहां पे पैसा बनता नहीं है बट दे वेरी केपेबल ऑफ रेजिंग बिलियन ऑफ डॉलर ऑफ मनी विच गोज इन टू अंडलेस एंडलेस कंड ऑफ ब्लैक होल ऑफ स्पेंडिंग बट कोई फ्री कैश तो दिखती नहीं है and so like in this uh, light of this ki kabhi kabhi different factors chal rahe hain kabhi it ho raha hai kabhi power and infra mm-hmm. raha hai so why is it very very important to have a sound investing framework taki you don't fall into such pitfalls kyunki lagta hai ki do teen saal mein to yaar bahut return ban gaya but then all of a sudden the returns go away within a week literally right so how important it is to have an investing framework and what and what type of checklist process do you follow so look i mean it depends on your horizon so let's use a cricketing example to explain 
suppose i was playing t20 cricket or krishnan was playing t20 cricket and say you are the coach of the team so ishmoh tells krishnan ki boss agle 20 over mein humko 200 banana hai then krishnan can't go out there and you know be selective in which balls he wants to hit and and he has to basically go and start banging the ball from the first delivery itself right so for 20 overs if saurabh or krishnan are going to score 200 runs they have to be going at it from the first ball itself right so if i want to make money dhanadhan fatafat or i want to make runs dhanadhan fatafat then koi rule rule ki zarurat nahi hai i just have to build up a lot of muscle right gym mein work out karo and and practice power hitting and ja ke peetna chalu kar do pehle ball se right but if if it's a long game if it's a game that i will be playing for the next 20 30 years it's the game of my life it's krishnan's career my career the savings of 10000 families right the lamba game hai lamba khel hai test match hai panch din khelna hai to zahir hai we need a bunch of rules to discipline ourselves over the long haul right so agar aapko long term investing karni hai raton raat ameer nahi banna long term investing karni hai so you need a bunch of rules now different investors have a different rules so aapke i can see behind you you got poor charlie's almanac right, right so right. so when we were when we were 20 years younger we too were inspired by by uh, warren buffett ki jo kitab the making of an american capitalist roger roger lansdorn ki kitab and then subsequently poor charlie's almanac and the rules we established very early on in our lives were firstly hum chor promoter ke sath judenge nahi we will use the for, the best forensic accounting that we can think figure out we will hire the best forensic accountants we will request talented people like krishnan to code our thinking on forensic accounting into python and hum chor promoter se dur jayenge pehla rule dusra hai beyond the promoter being clean we will look for promoters who generate a return on capital above their cost of capital right ye poor charlie poor charlie zalam hai ki ye point beautifully explained in numerous places ki return on capital central metric hai जिस कंपनी की आर मानिए 40 परसेंट है वो कंपनी आप पी बीस पे लो या पी साठ पे लो आपको इफ यू होल्ड दैट कंपनी ओवर लेंथ ऑफ टाइम आपका रिटर्न मोटा मोटी 40 के आसपास ही आएगा तो वी लुक फॉर कंपनी सेकंड रूल हमारा है वी विल लुक फॉर कंपनीज वेर आर ओ सी इज कंसिडरेबली अबाउट द कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल एंड द थर्ड रूल इज बियॉन्ड बिंग क्लीन एंड गुड एट कैपिटल एलोकेशन वी विल लुक फॉर कंपनीज विच वॉर एन बाफेट एंड चार्ली कॉल्ड मोट्स वी विल लुक फॉर कंपनीज विद डोमिनेंस विद प्राइसिंग पार With the ability to charge customers twenty, thirty, forty percent extra compared to the competition, ये तीन हमारे rule है test match खेलने के लिए, लंबा खेलने के लिए कोई हमको जल्दबाजी नहीं है, धनादन फटाफट नहीं छक्के मारने हमको शांति पूर्वक बैठ के लंबा कमाना है. Right, sir. Right. Very wonderfully put. That uh, framework and rules are very, very important because अगर धनादन छक्के मारने पे लोग out भी बहुत जल्दी हो जाते हैं तो वो बिल्कुल वहाँ नहीं जाना. Right, right. So interesting thing, sir. Before going forward, अगर आपको भी ये सीखना है कि आप फंडामेंटल एनालिसिस कैसे कर सकते हैं बेसिकली हाउ यू कैन फिल्टर स्टॉक्स एंड साथ साथ हाउ टू रीड अ बैलेंस शीट एनल रिपोर्ट इनकम स्टेटमेंट एक कंपनी की कैसे देखते हैं कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट कैसे देखते हैं एक कंपनी का डिटेल फॉरेंसिक एनालिसिस कैसे करते हैं यूजिंग दी एस वाई सी एक्सेल शीट जहां आपके आपके लिए ये फॉरेंसिक एनालिसिस एकदम ऑटोमेटेड हो जाएगा एंड साथ साथ इफ यू ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू लर्न हाउ टू वैल्यू अ कंपनी वेन टू सेल वेन टू बाय एंड टिल हाउ लॉन्ग टू राइड देन ऑल these things are part of one SOIC membership जहां पर हम आपको यह भी सिखाएंगे कि अगर आप बिगनर है तो आप अपना फाइनेंशियल प्लान भी कैसे बना सकते हैं वॉट इज द डिफरेंट बिटवीन पैसिव फंड एंड एक्टिव फंड एंड आव यू एज एन इन्वेस्टर कैन टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ डिफरेंट एसेट क्लासेस जो इंडिया के अंदर अवेलेबल है इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ दी एस ओ आई सी मेंबरशिप देन लिंक टू दी एस ओ आई सी मेंबरशिप इज देयर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो विद दिस लेट्स प्रोसीड विद द इंटरव्यू सर वन मोर क्वेश्चन sir as a young investor who's watching this video and mm-hmm. uh, as someone who's young into investing how will you suggest ki start kaise karna chahiye and reading habits kaise develop karni chahiye because we have seen a lot of your videos and you're a voracious reader and also tell us with ko aapne recently kaun si book padhi hai to wo bhi aap hamare sath bilkul discuss share kijiye audience ke sath so we get reading habit kaise develop karni it's actually a tough question for right. me right because um जब से हम पैदा हुए थे जब से किताब पढ़ रहे हैं राइट सो सो आई ग्रो अप इन डेली एंड यू नो आई ग्रो अप इन 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 यू नो रिलेटिवली अन एफ्लुएंट सरकमस्टांसेस माय मम वाज अ मैथ्स टीचर एंड माय डैड वर्क्ड फॉर अ ऑयल रिग ऑयल रिग डिजाइनिंग कंपनी तो उतने पैसे नहीं थे कि हमारे को वीडियो गेम मिलेगी या कुछ विदेश यात्रा मिलेगा सो सो हमारे को अगर कोई कुछ मांगता था तो मिलती थी पहले जब छोटा था अमर चित्र कथा मिलती थी फिर जब छह सात आठ साल की उम्र वही एन एड ब्लाइटन की किताबें मिलती थी 
और फिर जब दस ग्यारह बारह साल हो गए आई फिगर आउट की लोकल लैंडिंग लाइब्रेरी से जितनी भी किताबें सब पढ़ डालनी चाहिए एंड देन ग्रेजुअली वन यू नो वंस आई गॉट इन टू माई टीम आई रियलाइज की आइर फुटबॉल क्रिकेट खेलो या वी टू लिव नियर द डेली एयरपोर्ट डेली एयरपोर्ट में साइकिल चला के जाओ ऊपर से प्लेन के रन के नीचे खड़े हो जाओ सो दैट यू कैन सी द प्लेन गोइंग ओवर हेड एंड बाकी टाइम बैठ के किताबें पढ़ो सो फॉर फैमिलीज लाइक आस हू डेंट रियली हैव द मीन्स टू अफोर्ड वीडियो गेम्स और मूवीज और लग्जरी हॉलीडेज रीडिंग वॉज द ओनली वे टू सी द वर्ल्ड राइट फॉर द यंगर जनरेशन आई थिंक द पॉजिटिव साइड आई सी इज फॉर माई किस जनरेशन सब कुछ इस चीज के अंदर है सो so, मेरे बच्चे एक के बाद एक वो किंडल मैंने किंडल किंडल अनलिमिटेड मेरे वाइफ ने उनके लिए ले लिया है तो किंडल किंडल अनलिमिटेड में एक के बाद एक किताबें पढ़ते रहते हैं एंड एवरी सैटरडे और संडे इवनिंग वेन एवर वी आर फ्री वी गो टू द लोकल सेकेंड हैंड शॉप बुक शॉप वी रिटर्न सम ऑफ आर बुक्स एंड वी टेक न्यू बुक्स एंड यू गेट इन टू द हैबिट ऑफ रीडिंग नॉन स्टॉप एंड वंस यू गेट इन टू दैबिट एक बार वो नशा चढ़ जाता है then uh, then then it then then you will not do anything other than read right so now i no longer go to any social parties koi mere ko khas bulata bhi nahi hai to be honest right i just bath ke ghar mein sara din kitabe padhta hu and if my wife takes me somewhere i go there i say hi hello aadha ghanta 40 minute maximum 1 ghanta and i go come back home and i start reading again because wo nasha se sa gaya hai in terms of what we are reading at the moment हमारे जो चीफ ऑपरेटिंग ऑफिसर हैं मनीष हेमनानी उन्होंने रिकमेंड किया एंड uh, हमारे हर हफ्ते हम संडे को थ्री लॉन्ग थ्री शॉर्ट्स छापते हैं एनी बडी वॉन्ट्स टू रीड थ्री लॉन्ग थ्री शॉर्ट्स यू कैन कम टू अर वेबसाइट एंड सब्सक्राइब टू इट फ्री ऑफ चार्ज और इफ यू राइट टू मी एट सौरभ एट मार्सलस डॉट आई एन वी विल पुट यू ऑन द मेलिंग लिस्ट सो लास्ट वीक हमारे थ्री लॉन्ग थ्री शॉर्ट्स में मनीष हेमनानी और प्रमोद गुबी ने रिकमेंड किया एक बहुत अच्छी किताब कॉल्ड वर्किंग बैकवर्ड्स बाई एमेजॉन राइट वर्किंग बैकवर्ड्स इन एमेजॉन सो दिस इज टू एक्स एमेजॉन स्टाफ to people who spent 25 years working in amazon they've explained how how management decision making uh, takes place in in amazon and it's a super book on how how smart management teams think right it's actually helped me think through why say a dr lal path labs is significantly better than most other path lab companies why a hdfc bank is able to build a business that no other bank can actually emulate right jo dusri kitab a dusri kitab jo abhi hali mein khatam kiya called uh, measuring the moat by michael michael mabusan in fact you can get this as a pdf download on the internet measuring the moat by michael mabusan famous uh, note i think kuch 20 saal pehle michael mabusan ne likhi thi as to how anybody can take a company and figure out kitni moat chaudi hai kitni lambi hai we use a version of this in marcellus uh, uh, we call it the longevity framework krishnan uses a different version in his code in the quant product that he runs so measuring a moat i would strongly recommend free mein uplabdh hai just google kariye measuring a moat by michael mobison uh, uh, lovely read um, and and as i said right aap uh, three uh, if you read our own books usme hamari puri uh, reading list di hui hai do hafte baad hamari nayi kitab aa rahi hai unfiltered my coach in london i have written a book on how what we have read what have we learned from our reading unfiltered padhiyega do hafte baad aa rahi hai usme puri hamari lambi reading list di hui hai right right fantastic to wo jo uh... मेजरिंग द मोट वाला पीडीएफ है वो आप सबके लिए जो जो यहाँ अगर आप वीडियो का डिस्क्रिप्शन देंगे तो वहाँ पे ऑलरेडी आपके लिए डाल रखे हैं तो किसी को भी पढ़ना है तो आप भी उसमें से वो पढ़ सकते हैं राइट थैंक यू सो मच एंड सर लास्ट मतलब कपल ऑफ इयर्स में सर जैसे वी हैव सीन लाइक सम पीपल है एकदम सडन रियलाइजेशन आती है कुछ बिग आइडियाज होते हैं फ्रॉम डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट्स विच एंड अपेंजिंग आर माइंड सो वॉट विल बी दोज बिग आइडियाज विच एंड लाइक इम्पैक्टिंग यू अलॉट एंड एक्चुअली एंड अप शेपिंग योर इन्वेस्टिंग जर्नी ओवर द लास्ट फ्यू ईयर्स दुनिया में बहुत कुछ सीखने को है and I guess as you get older and in my case as i got older i realized that we actually know very little and i know very little the the, the bulk of the bulk of the stuff that's happening in the world actually samajh nahi aata so uh 4 saal pehle uh uh 4 uh, saal pehle I, uh, a friend of mine anupam gupta and i wrote a book called the victory project usme humne samjhaya our realization that that say something as simple as zipper right jo jacket ki zipper hoti hai how exactly does a zipper operate actually i don't know i mean i i can tell you as a zipper kheechta ho jata hai but kaise zipper kaam karta hai how does a toilet flush operate right wo bhi nahi samajh aata i'm not even saying you know forget about something as complex as reliance industries limited reliance industries se chhodiye toilet flush kaise kaam karta hai wo bhi nahi nahi aata so as you get older you realize that the limits of your knowledge are actually immense you actually know very little duniya mein bahut kuch jo samajh nahi aata and 
and the greater the realization of the limits of your knowledge, the lower the appetite for taking risk, right? So a lot of people believe that equity investors take lots of risk. As we see it, our job actually is risk ko pura crush kar dena, right? Jitna ho sake kam risk lo. Achhe promoter ko back karo saaf sutra insaan. Insaan jiska suljhava dimag hai, track record dikhti hai ki saan kaam dhang se kar raha hai. Or tisra, aisa insaan jiska product aap aur hum khud le rahe hai. We are all buying that company's products at a decent premium to competition, right? So, 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 so a lot of this thinking, right, about the limits of our knowledge uh, has been captured by very good psychologists. So, so there's a guy called Nick Chater, C-H-A-T-E-R. Uska bahut sara kaam humne Victory Project, humari kitab Victory Project mein reference kiya hai. Uh, there's a book called uh, Knowledge, The Knowledge Illusion. There's a guy called Steve Sloman. He's a psychologist called Steve Sloman. He's written a book called The Knowledge Illusion. The knowledge, knowledge Illusion is, humko lagta hai, sab kuch aata hai. Actually, bahut kam aata hai, right? How exactly... Uh, uh, my visual is appearing on the screen. Koi chance I have no idea. Right? I'm using Zoom. I'm gra- grateful that I'm benefiting from using Zoom. But I have no idea ki ho kya hai technology ka. But badi badi baate mein kar raha apke saath. Right? So knowledge illusion and the limits of our knowledge uh, uh, in a way is something that we have hit upon in the last 4-5 years. That's led to this very conservative style of investing. Ki simple si cheeze khari do. Ye mat bolo, budget ke baad ki capex cycle chalu ho jayega, main capex wali stocks lunga. That's the kind of insanity that we try to avoid. Right, right, right. Well, wonderfully put ki a circle of ignorance will always be uh, like larger than circle of knowledge basically. Lovely, lovely. Yaar. I couldn't have put it better. <laughs> right, right, right. So I think uh, like two more questions from my side. Uh, so one more question linked to this is, so uh, we've seen that, that that over the years, like I've been reading your blogs a lot and I've been watching a lot of your videos as well, but you uh, stress a lot of importance on capital allocation. So any uh, examples from entrepreneurs that you've interacted with or seen over the years that how wonderfully they've put capital allocation across in their journeys and any examples of uh, like uh, companies which haven't done well because they didn't focus a lot on capital allocation. So so just to understand why do we focus on capital allocation? Why is that such a big deal even in the, uh, the, quant, the quant product that Krishna has built after forensic accounting? After forensic accounting, the second thing in a way is to measure the quality of the company's capital allocation. The reason capital allocation is such a big deal is this is the one thing that is in the promoter's control. The business cycle, the promoter doesn't control, right? COVID ke upar promoter ka control nahi hai. But every single decision on my factory lagaun, kitna kharcha karu factory pe kaha pe lagegi, main apne rival ko kharidu, kitne pe kharidu, right? These decisions are in the promoter's control. Main buyback announce karu ya na karu. Dividend kitna batu, right? Because the capital allocation decisions are in the promoter's control, if you look at, say, the last 10 years of capital allocation decisions of a promoter, it gives you a pretty good gauge on is this fellow competent or incompetent. Hai? Secondly, measuring success or lack thereof in capital allocation is also very doable because you have one key metric hai, return on capital employed and how that has evolved over time. Jaisi ki Virat Kohli ki batting average over the last 20 years dekke samaj aati ki ye bande ki evolution as a batsman kaise hui hai. Similarly, say Pedalite ki ROC evolution dekke last 20 saal mein samaj aati ki Pedalite ki evolution as a franchise kya, kya, kaise hui hai. Jahan jahan pe capital ROC pita hai. Jaisi 2008-9 in ka ROC pit gya pura buri tra. That was because they, they did a glitch. They had a flaw in their capital allocation. Unhoon ek France mein galat asset le liya. Right? Uh, on the other hand, last 10 years of Pedalite's ROC, I think, 20 to 40 has been. They got a whole bunch of things right, right? So, not only is capital allocation is a measure of the, not only is it a measure of the promoter's prowess, his mind, it's also a very tangible, measurable thing, right? So, that's why we give a lot of importance to the capital allocation. What is it doing? How is it doing? If you want to take a good example, uh, let's take a simple example, right? How is it going to happen in Pedalite's 20 to 40 years? So, how is it going to happen? Uh, by the turn of the century, they had become dominant in white glue, if I recall, right? So, bahut sara ROC aara tha. So, year 2000, they went to M&M. And I think for no more than 120 crores, they bought M&M's waterproofing brands, right? Uh, 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 Dr. Fick said, MC loanon hai, M&M's hai liya, 120 crores ke aas paas dekhe. Agle 20 saal mein, between 2000 and 2020, 
they became the dominant player in waterproofing. They took the waterproofing products and created a massive money machine out of it. And that that allocation, both the the uh, both the investment in acquiring the brands and the subsequent uh, dominance that they built in waterproofing resulted in the ROCs punching through 40%. Right? Tremendous outcome. Come kharche me aapko mere ko bahut mota kama ke diya hai. Iska natija kya hai? Mere khayal se Fevicol ki cash flows aur uski share price last 20 saal me kareeban last 20 saal me kareeban 200x ke aas paas compound kar gayi hai. Right? Both free cash flows and share price have compounded around 200x in the last uh, uh, 20 years. Right? अगर आप नेगेटिव चाहते हो तो दर्जनों के तादाद में बोल सकता हूं राइट मोस्ट इंडियन कंपनीज मोस्ट इंडियन कंपनीज कंग्लोमरेट्स पावर इंफ्रा वाले जनरली कंग्लोमरेट्स राइट वो कर वो वो पैसा पूरा स्प्रे कर देते हैं वो ये भी करते हैं वो भी करते हैं कुछ और भी करते हैं इंडिया में भी करते हैं बल्गेरिया में भी करते हैं हंगरी में भी हावी है एंड इन मार्सेलस द टेक्निकल टर्म वी यूज इज वी कॉल्ड प्रमोटर जी ने रायता फैला दिया राइट यू टुक रियल बिट ऑफ द कैपिटल गॉट वेरी एक्साइटेड कि बॉस टेलीकॉम भी करता हूं मैं uh, कुछ नया इकोनॉमी भी करता हूं डिजिटल डिजिटल में भी घुस जाता हूं कपड़े भी बेचना मैं ही शुरू कर देता हूं खीरा uh, गोभी आलू भी मैं ही बेचता हूं uh, और अरे uh, बैंकिंग क्यों छोड़ो फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज में ही मेरा प्रवेश हो जाए राइट सो एंड एंड रिजल्ट इज आप देखते हो बहुत आवाज हुआ बहुत भागा भागी हुई रिटर्न कैपिटल मालिक का 11% राइट भयंकर सन्नाटा भयंकर सन्नाटा जीरो फ्री कैश फ्लो Right, right. And sir, I think क्योंकि राइट अब सोचिए मधुकर पारेख ने 1970 से 2000 साल तक केवल वाइट ब्लू ही किया फिर 2000 से 2020 तक वाइट ब्लू और और वाटरप्रूफिंग किया हाल ही में वो लोग फर्नीचर और स्पेशलिस्ट uh, फ्लोरिंग की तरफ जा रहे हैं सो दैट सिंगल माइंडेड फोकस ऑन बिल्डिंग अ ग्रेट फ्रेंचाइज मेकिंग अ टन ऑफ मनी फ्रॉम इट एंड देन रीइन्वेस्टिंग इट इन अनदर ग्रेट फ्रेंचाइज वो बहुत रेयर है इसलिए कैपिटल एलोकेशन इज सच अ गुड मेजर ऑफ ऑफ अ प्रमोटर सक्सेस in cricketing jargon it would be uh, kitna discipline se ek batsman khelta hai right agar aap notice kare virat kohli plays pretty much the same way in test matches one days and t20s aisa nahi ki aage t20 mein aake pehle ball se dhanadhan maarne ki koshish karta hai he plays in a he's created a bunch of rules for himself and he's created he's got this immense ability to play within those rules regardless of the format of the game Let's hope Shubman Gill emulates uh, uh, the great Virat Kohli and becomes the next Virat Kohli. Right, right. Uh, sir, so two more qu- questions linked to this, uh, and uh, so one more is ki how valuable is the idea of return on incremental capital employed? Because we ROC to sunte hain, but incrementally that capital should be employed into the core business to generate even more ROC. So one is this, and uh, second is how do you marry your framework? With the idea of position sizing at the end, कि आपके फिल्टर से निकल गया सब कुछ, and then how do you apply this idea of uh, like of filtering stocks into a like proper portfolio and into position sizing? And do you have any mathematical formula for position sizing as well? ठीक है, so what I'll do is ये second वाला जो question है, वो बहुत tough question है, इसलिए कृष्णन को second वाला question और जवाब देने बोलेंगे using his framework, right? Because it's a really tough question, position sizing right. का. पहला वाला आसान है तो मैं एटलीस्ट रिलेटिवली आसान है बिटवीन द टू टफ क्वेश्चंस क्वेश्चन पहला वाला रिलेटिवली आसान है सो रिटर्न ऑन इंक्रीमेंटल कैपिटल इज 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 इन अ वे द द सेकंड डेरिवेटिव रिटर्न ऑन कैपिटल राइट हर साल हर साल आपको अगर आपकी रिटर्न ऑन कैपिटल कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल के ऊपर है तो हर साल आपका थोड़ा सा सरप्लस कैपिटल बन पा रहा है राइट सो सो मानिए आपका आर से डॉक्टर लाल जी ऐसा के आसपास है मानिए कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल पंद्रह है so every year your surplus is around 20% of capital employed you you are reinvesting that back in the business right if on that incremental capital you are making good decisions aapka roc subsequent over 35 ki jagah 37 ho jayega 35 will go to 37 on that incremental capital you have generated even more than 35 which is why 35 has gone to 37 so if you take pedalite or dr lal ka ya divis lab ka roc chart over the last 
ट्वेंटी ईयर्स आप देखोगे आर ओसी लाइन ऐसी जा रही है राइट वर्टिकली अपवर्ड जा रही है पीड लाइट का जैसे मैं बोल रहा था बीस से चालीस कुछ मीन इंक्रीमेंटल कैपिटल पे हर वर्ष उन्होंने इंक्रीमेंटल कैपिटल पिछले साल के कंपेरिजन में बेहतर किया है राइट विच इज सिमिलर टू अट्समैन गेटिंग बेटर एंड बेटर और बैटर गेटिंग बेटर एंड बेटर ओवर टाइम राइट तो अगर आप क्रिकेट में देखें स्मृति स्मृति मंदाना का गेम देखें वॉट स्मृति मंदाना इज गेम टूडे बट वॉट शी वॉज फाइव ईयर्स अगो राइट इट्स नाइट एंड डे डिफरेंट दैट गर्ल has got better and better and better every single year and as a result she is a thing a big indian kick uh, uh, after her manpreet kaur she is the number two player in the team right that's the kind of corporate we are looking for the company which keeps getting better aur mehnat karta hai aur uh, better it better technology systems better brand better uh, better franchise bana ke roc ko upar khinchta hai bahut rare hai ye corporate life mein just like a batter like smriti mandana is rare similarly a corporate like a you know again we can think of it as a, a rules based portfolio or you know what people generally in india call as a corn portfolio right uh, a corn based product or a corn strategy but we would like to think of it as a uh, a checklist right a set of rules uh, you know which uh, we follow uh, you know without any exception without any emotions uh, and uh, you know we follow this religiously uh, so you know two times in a year Uh, and those uh, th- these the steps in the checklist it's uh, you know we you can you can see it on the the right side of the slide right now uh, when when i talk about checklist i'm assuming you know you understand you know what i mean by checklist ek suchi hai so you know you just follow the you know it's like you know your grocery list or you know the uh, list of you know your things to do every day uh, so in a similar way uh, you know you just apply this checklist uh, at uh, you know twice in a year and those two dates are what we call as a rebalancing dates right so we rebalance basis these rules uh, so uh, what are these rules right so the f- uh, the first step is we start from the bsc 500 universe so it's a finite stock universe uh, from that uh, we uh, remove stocks uh, which uh, we consider uh, as uh, you know as either frauds or which are uh, which have a doubtful accounting quality so this is uh, what constitutes or what we call as a forensic screening right um now i i'm not sure how many whether you or you know how many of your listeners have uh, gone through diamonds in the dust or you know have gone through our newsletters uh, and we have you know uh, written about these things in fair amount of detail right um, so when you look at uh, you know companies within the bse 500 right uh, com- you know just avoiding you know these kind of fraud companies or companies you know which have this kind of accounting quality uh, you know can uh, you know it's uh, can really improve your returns right so uh, and in investing i'm sure you're you know out of all you know most people you would be aware that uh, avoiding losers is uh, as as important as picking winners so this is what you know this uh, this step allows you to do it remove so we use a set of ratios so uh, you know we have around 11 ratios and you can find more details in diamonds in the dust um, so this uh, you know one of some of these ratios you know look at cash conversion so you look at the earnings you know how much of those earnings get converted to cash um and we also have you know again different ratios uh, one of those ratios again I, i'll just give you a flavor right so we look at uh, how much the auditor remuneration has grown uh, with respect to the growth in revenues right uh, so if uh, the company is you know paying more to the auditors or the growth in the auditor remuneration is more than the uh, the revenue growth um, in some ways you can say that you know again the uh, you know the auditors uh, would be uh, you know we are the company has been too uh, you know uh, eager to you know kind of pay its auditor so there is a likelihood of uh, you know cooking the books or the auditor overlooking uh, common accounting issues so uh, that's the forensic screen so we remove uh, so what we do at least in this approach is again in, in, you know when you're thinking about merit or qs uh, we remove the the bottom 40% of your uh, you know your universe based on the forensic screen so we start from a finite stock universe we remove the bottom 40% so you're left with around 300 odd companies uh usme se uh, we remove again uh, companies which have high leverage right essentially which uh, you know which have borrowed too much from the bank um, and uh, again i'm sure you know uh, 
uh, you know, we know and we understand, you know, the meaning of leverage here. Um, and leverage is a double-edged sword, right? So, um, and companies which are highly leveraged uh, can unravel as quickly as, you know, they rise up on top. So, so we basically avoid, you know, these companies, right? And the way we measure leverage is basis debt to equity. Um, and uh, uh, once, uh, you know, we apply this screen, we also look at consistency of the profitability. So, uh, you know, we typically look at, you know, measures like return on capital employed or the return on equity and uh, how uh, consistent the company has been delivering uh, on its profitability uh, over a particular low back period or in the past. So uh, once we apply these three steps, what you can also call as our filtering steps, uh, you know, we get from a 500 uh, stock universe or a 500 uh, constituent universe to almost uh, 80 to 100 uh, odd companies. Uh, on these companies, uh, you know, from these companies, essentially, uh, you know, you can think of these companies as almost, you know, uh, a set of companies which have all favorable characteristics, right? Um, and uh, where you might also say the odds of, you know, outperformance is the also, or, or the underperformance are quite low, right? So from this list, we uh, select companies which are both profitable, uh, and when I say profitable, again, basis uh, the return on capital metric, as well as undervalued. The undervaluation is measured uh, basis the free cash flow, uh, you know, uh, what we call as free cash flow yield or price to free cash flow. We don't look at price to earnings here at all, right? Uh, and it's again consistent with our own philosophy where we have found that uh, uh, free cash flows, the free cash flow generation potential of the company or its ability to generate free cash flow is a better indicator of ret uh, its future uh, returns than earnings. Uh, so right. when I say free cash flow again, we start with the earnings, uh, you know, net of working capital, net of cap, capex, uh, net of any acquisition, M and A, so on and so forth, right? So uh, and again, we average out the free cash flows over a, you know, again, a, you know, a look back period just to make sure again the most recent number, you know, just doesn't distort our, uh, you know, the metric whatever we are using, and then. Uh, you know, once we select these companies, so again, the, the key thing here is we are looking at both under uh, valuation as well as quality, you know, basis the profitability, right? So both profitability and undervaluation, that's the, you know, the, uh, the key point here. Um, so we select around 30 odd companies, uh, 30 to 35 odd companies in this step. Uh, and once we do that, uh, the companies which have a, a lower price to pay cash flow, as i.e., which are more undervalued, are given a higher allocation in the final portfolio. So uh, those are, you know, again the the sequence of five steps which we follow uh, in Meritor Q. So again, a uh, long answer to your question, but uh, that's exactly you know what we are doing here in Meritor Q in terms of uh, you know the the rules uh, or what we call as a checklist. Right, right. So I think you brought a very good point up that if anyone wants to read about uh, forensic analysis and stuff, so I think that's written in diamonds in the dust. But I think 60 to 70 percent of our audience might have already read the book and they've also seen how forensics work. So uh, I think towards the end, you uh, mentioned Krishna, Krishna ki that free cash flow yield, uh, like which stocks are at more attractive level, gets a higher uh, basically weightage. Right, right. So just uh, if you can just uh, take us to the presentation at why quant at the end of the day, uh, as compared to just going through manual stock picking and uh, and what is the process of quant? Because this is something that is just new to the Indian markets and uh, a lot of viewers are also like sort of uh, interested in knowing ki why uh, quant uh, basically, what is quant and when what is different about quant as compared to like just normal investing process. Sure. So uh, what I'll do is, uh, you know, because we have gone through this, uh, the, the rules in our, uh, you know, the merit or queue checklist, what I'll do is I'll just go through the presentation and I think that will address, uh, you know, the points that you raised, right? So Rick, Krishnan, maybe th uh, that funnel, wala, if you can go to this funnel, funnel then we'll be able to see the, 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 the why are we doing this? This funnel makes it very powerfully apparent by following a disciplined checklist uh, in Indian investing. Sure. So, uh, so again, what we have here is, you know, the outcome of, uh, you know, whatever we discussed in the, you know, the slide, you know, or, you know, the steps which I talked about. So what we did is we did, a, you know, a back test, uh, you know, essentially using the data as of, uh, you know, over, you know, as, as of that point in time, right? So if we, uh, so we have done this back test over 16 years. So we use the data available as of that point in time at any, you know, uh, every, at, a, at every rebalance date, right? So we, like I said, we do this rebalancing twice in a year. So, and we did this uh, entire back test over a 16 year period from 2006 to 2022. 
um, and uh, just to note, because we also show the returns here, these returns are gross of transaction costs, uh, any taxes on and so forth. Uh, but they are also they do not all include the dividends also. So these are in price return terms. Um, so again, that's just just been a disclaimer. But you can just see uh, at least on the the left funnel chart what is the outcome. You know, uh, of applying these uh, uh, you know the steps in that checklist, but applied in a you know completely unemotional way. And you know, in a disciplined way, like Saurabh said, um, and you do this, uh, every, you know, twice every year uh, on a fixed date, right? So we do this rebalancing or you know, this portfolio construction per these rules as of the first trading date of April and October every year. So what we see is, you know, again, uh, you know, just starting off, you know, the top of the funnel on the left side of, in the left side chart, uh, you know, if you just start with the, you know, the 500 stock universe, your NSE 500 or BSE 500, just equal weight them. Uh, you you know that gives you anything around eight percent right over this uh, sixteen year period roughly, um, and then after you apply the forensic screen, you can see you know the magic happens right. So you go from a eight percent to a thirteen and a half percent roughly right. So uh, you know uh, you know jump of almost five and a half percent just by avoiding those fraud companies right. And this goes back you know again to the point you know we all uh, you know always talked about. That you know, avoiding these losers uh, is as important as you know picking those winners, right? So uh, once we apply this forensic screen, you can also see in the next step, you know, where we uh, screen out uh, you know highly indebted companies as well as you know look for companies with consistent profitability. That gives you uh, a jump from a thirteen and a half percent to eighteen point three percent. And like I said, uh, you know, after this filtering rules, the initial three screening rules, uh, you know, the, the the entire universe that you know kind of comes down from a 500 uh, stock universe to roughly around 80 to 100 companies. Uh, and on these companies, uh, we again look for, like I said, you know, uh, both undervalued as well as profitable companies, uh, and that gives you a return uplift of another uh, roughly three percentage points. Um, and then the position sizing bit uh, that also adds to the return, though not uh, that much. But again, you need to remember that uh, you know uh, the set of rules which we have, you know, on top. You know, again, what we are, you know, the screening and the selection steps which we have on top, they themselves, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, raise the threshold, right? On you know how much more performance you can add. So um, after we do all this, like I said, you know, you uh, end up with uh, you know around 35 to uh, 45 stocks and that's roughly what we have seen over this 16 year history right? we so, so Shpur, just to sort of knowledge. in a way use krishnan's framework right because this is well, courtesy his quant skills what we can do is set, piece out separate out the value of each of these steps so if you see forensic accounting is the most valuable step you jump from the returns jump from 7.9 to the 13.5 nearly five five and a half percent jump the biggest jump in value you'll notice is forensic accounting, right? So avoiding nasty companies, avoiding naughty promoters in India is an immensely important part of investing. And remember, the naughty promoter is the fellow who will incentivize media, brokerages, etc. to go and get great retail investors, right? Uh, 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 and, and therefore, avoiding naughty promoters is the central part of investing. In Diamonds in the Dust, we have laid out the whole framework, the forensic framework, which Krishnan has coded into Python here. Then... Uh, Going, going from clean companies to high quality companies, right? the low leverage and consistent profitability, low leverage and ROCE, right? The high quality piece takes us from 13.5 to 18.3, sub 5%, still a very good jump. 13.5 to 18.3 ka returns is still a very good jump, but it's a sub 5%, right? So forensic ne sade paanch ka extra jump diya. Quality ne, ROC and low leverage ne, uh, 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 approaching 5% ka jump diya, right? And then the last two bits, which is uh, uh, using free cash flow and price to free cash flow to, to position size and, 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 and load up on the stocks which are which are attractively priced given their strong free cash flows, juices up the return by another 3 percentage points. So, sade paach, sade char, and then 3. And those are, the, in effect, the three layers of rules. Forensic accounting ke rules, return on capital and leverage ke rules, and finally, price to free cash flow, position sizing around companies which are strong free cash flow generators and yet are not very highly priced. And just to note, uh, again, we have just shown these the, the final chart in terms of returns, right? Um, and, uh, you know, the other dimension is for someone, you know, who is more sensitive to, for example, you know, uh, uh, you know, maybe people look at drawdowns, right? They are, you know, they can't, uh, you know, they don't have tolerance, you know, for a portfolio drawdown beyond a certain level. 
or you know someone is more interested in the downside risk of the portfolio what we also see is as we apply these rules the downside risk the drawdowns the risk of the uh, you know the overall portfolio that also comes down right uh, in fact the risk adjusted return improves uh, considerably as you start you know from that 500 stock universe to the final portfolio which we have here so the risk is the you know the other uh, part of it you have not shown it here um, but you know suffice to say that uh, you know after application of all these rules your risk also goes right 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 so uh, follow up uh, question krishnan to this so this is like so if in a nutshell so any viewer who is watching this if because quant is a new field in the indian investing landscape so how will you describe quant as a investing uh, like uh, as an as an investing philosophy because there are so many investing philosophies around so how can you simplify it for all the uh, or for the entire audience who is watching this yeah so you, uh, like you said right you can think of so again there are various flavors of quant in the first place right, right. Uh, so there is uh, you know you know a flavor of quant you know where you know people do almost like you know what is called a high frequency trading so you you know just buy and sell stocks in the same day uh, then there is you know another you know flavor of quant you know where you know you might be doing something you know over a period of a week or a month right this you know what we are talking about here this is a more long term oriented strategy right uh, and this is perfectly in sync with you know what we do in masterless here it's line with our philosophy so what we are doing here is just following us you know a set of rules right and those rules uh, have been tested uh, like i said right they have been simulated we have seen the performance of these rules uh, and again these rules uh, you know we are not taken this out of thin air right so we have uh, we know that you know again uh, not only have they worked in india but they have worked in other countries also right uh, and again these are uh, you might say uh, are you know characteristics right uh, which help you identify those uh, you know those good companies right uh, the kind of companies we normally invest in uh you know so this these rules uh you know coming up with these rules and you know kind of codifying them uh is you know our you know what we do what we are trying to do here in uh in in meritor q and the, the advantage is uh, uh firstly you know it's like i said right you are uh you are completely removing the the, the human element uh from you know uh taking you know this any of these decisions so number one you know the mistakes uh, any mistakes can happen you know with human intervention those are some that is completely ruled out secondly uh, the consistency with which you are applying these rules right so you're not making any exceptions you're not taking any shortcuts all these rules are applied without exception um, at you know those two rebalance dates um, and they are applied across all the stocks right so you're not saying that for example you know i really like a company so but it's failing my forensic screen but i'll still let it through right because i really like the company uh, i've seen the history of the company but i'll still let it right so that's not going to work similarly that could be another company right and this is you know uh, part of the reason you know why uh, quant sometimes work is you know you might have a company in the portfolio after doing all this which you might say hey i mean i had never expected that company to make it through all these rules um, but you would be surprised sometimes you know uh, you just have it in the portfolio just follow these rules have it in your portfolio that actually works out right so uh, the advantage then is you know the the consistency of you know application of these rules and the uh, you know the unemotional approach right so you christian so i think not... one way to uh, to help ishmohit's viewers understanding is we, we would call it the money ball school of quant investing so there are lots of other people who do long they do long short high frequency trading uh, uh, expiry pe kuch karte hain technical dekhte hain etc right ours is very simple Uh, as the Michael Lewis की जो किताब है मनी बॉल और ब्रैड पिट की जो मूवी है डिपेंडिंग ऑन हु इज वॉचिंग आई डाउट रीड द बुक और वॉच द मूवी बोथ आर वेरी गुड बोथ आर वेरी एंटरटेनिंग मनी बॉल में कैरेक्टर पेड बाय ब्रैड पिट इज अ बेसबॉल कोच पुराने जमाने के बेसबॉल कोच वुड लुक एट अ प्लेयर आउट ऑफ दुक कैसा जब मार जब वो बेसबॉल का होम रन मारता है छक्का मारता है कैसा बड़ा पावरफुल मार रहा है नहीं मार रहा पब्लिक इसको पसंद करेगी नहीं देखने में कैसा है एक्सेट्रा ब्रैड पिट्स व्यू वॉज आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू नो एनी दैट आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू नो द स्टेटिस्टिक्स ऑफ द प्लेयर राइट बेसिकली क्रिकेटिंग पार्लर्स में स्ट्राइक रेट क्या है एवरेज क्या है जब वो अंडर प्रेशर खेलता है कैसे परफॉर्म करता है बेसिस दो मेट्रिक्स मनी बॉल में ब्रैड पिट जो कोच होता है ओकलैंड ओकलैंड एज का बिली बीन इन द रियल रियल लाइफ स्टोरी राइट बिली बीन द बेसबॉल कोच सेज आई वॉन्ट टू बाई प्लेयर्स हु आर वैल्यू फॉर मनी for what they for the metrics that they delivering the strike rate 
एवरेज दट डिलीवरिंग वो सस्ते में मार्केट में मिल रहा है राइट सो इसका ग्रेट एग्जाम्पल वॉज हाउ दैट गुजरात आई पी एल फ्रांचाइज डिड द बिडिंग इन द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट द गुजरात फ्रांचाइज पार्टिसिपेटेड इन आई पी एल ऑप्शन आई रिमेम्बर वॉचिंग इट मेरे को मेरे को एनी एनी जब एनी चीज जब खरीदी बेची जाती है मेरे को बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग लगता है सो वेन द गुजरात फ्रांचाइज बिड फॉर प्लेयर्स इन द आई पी एल ऑप्शन दिस इज नॉट दिस इयर ऑप्शन लास्ट ईयर ऑप्शन अगले दिन मीडिया में यूनानिमस व्यू था इन्होंने तो ज्यादा पैसा दे दिया महंगा खरीद लिया राइट टिपिकली जैसे मार्सलस के बारे में बोलते ना महंगा खरीद लिया एवरीबडी सेट ये देखो इन्होंने मोहम्मद शामी के लिए छह करोड़ दे दिए बेवकूफ लोग मोहम्मद शमी के लिए कौन छह करोड़ देता है राइट बट दे डन देर नंबर क्रांचिंग डन देर नंबर क्रांचिंग एज पर द मनी बॉल स्कूल ऑफ इन्वेस्टिंग दे हैड रियलाइज फॉर सिक्स करोड़ मोहम्मद शमी इज अ ग्रेट बाइंग राइट एंड देट बॉट प्लेयर्स दैट लुक्ड ऑप्टिकली एक्सपेंसिव बट टर्न आउट टू बी सुपर बाइस राइट लॉकी फर्गुसन वॉज अनदर फास्ट बॉलर दे बॉट शुभन गिल लिए थे राइट एंड नॉट ओनली डिट द गुजरात फ्रांचाइज विन द आई पी एल इश मोहित एट एवरी स्टेज ऑफ द आई पी एल दे वर द बेस्ट टीम राइट सो सुपरफिशली लोगों को लगा महंगा ले रहे हैं एक्चुअली बेसिस द मेट्रिक्स दैट क्रांच्ड दे हैड डन द राइट थिंग सिमिलरली विद मेरिटोर क्यू जो क्रिस्टन का अप्रोच है कभी लोग बोलेंगे सस्ता है कभी लोग बोलेंगे महंगा है कभी लोग बोलेंगे अनएक्सपेक्टेड है बट वॉट क्रिस्टन एल्गो इज डूइंग इज वेरी क्लेवरली लुकिंग एट द क्वालिटी ऑफ द कंपनी द क्वालिटी ऑफ द फंडामेंटल्स एंड सेंग फॉर वॉट इट इज फॉर वॉट इट रिप्रेजेंट्स दिस कंपनी इज अंडर वैल्यू लोड अप करो सो दिस इज द मनी बॉल स्कूल ऑफ क्वॉन्ट इन्वेस्टिंग राइट the book obviously belongs to michael lewis great book worth reading great fun but this style of investing hopefully will become associated with with meritor q and and the product that we are bringing to market here yeah and um, ishmoid again to just add on to what sarav said right um, uh, I, i just went through your uh, your videos you know just before i you know uh, got into this discussion i think you mentioned uh, investing is a game of probabilities right uh, if i'm not wrong so uh, again what we are trying to do here if you think about you know this kind of an approach is we are basically trying to boost your odds of success right you are basically improve your probability of you know uh, earning higher returns uh, right. now how we have you know kind of tested it you know we have also shown it to you right what kind of factors your characteristic we are using uh, to build this portfolio but all this kind of goes back to the same point right that we are trying to improve your Uh, the chance or your probability of succeeding right you know uh, you know generating good returns good long term returns right i think also uh, like there's a, because this rule based investing actually because it helps to weed out the human element so a lot of human jo tum keh rahe hain ki bahut sare jo emotional biases aa jati hain to wo system ki wajah se basically khatam ho jati hain because sometimes endowment bias aa jata hai when like people fall in love with stocks and stuff so that is why i think uh, this type of investing has actually caught in, uh, on in the world and india may i and think this, uh, interesting yeah so sorry again just to add to that right there's one more additional element and uh, i'm sure you know this would be known to you as well as to all the other listeners right other is you know the just you know that we are living in this digital age right the just the availability of data uh you know the access to the data the availability of data that have gone up through the roof right um you know you have you know tools to you know do what we are doing um uh, again uh, sort of mentioned python you know there are so many other tools which you have you know uh, available which allows you to crunch data uh, across you know almost like a 500 stock universe right calculate those leven ratios you know which we are doing in you know in forensics uh which you you might imagine right uh, if you know a one analyst you know or you know maybe even a 10 member analyst team you know you're supposed you know you're given this task would be extremely difficult right to do this accurately consistent so this is what again just the you know the uh, you know the i would say in a digital age we are living that gives us you know that uh, additional power to you know to harness you know to bring all these things together the power of data the power of computing to bring all these things together uh to you know to analyze again a large universe right and to create this uh, you know to apply this rules in the such a consistent way and also test them um and to uh, obviously you know show the benefits of these two to to invest right 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 so uh again the the returns here uh, again i'm i'm referring to the the chart on the right right the returns here are what exactly we showed in the the final chart uh, but what you also shown is uh, you know how much returns you earn uh, you know for every additional you know unit of risk right so uh, again when you say a 0.33 it's basically the 7.9% uh, you know just divided by the uh, you know the risk uh, of that portfolio right 
uh, and the the higher it is, the better it is, right? So that means that you're getting more returns for every unit of risk that you're taking. So what you see is as you go from uh, the first step, you know, the the finite stock universe, uh, you know, to the forensic step, your risk adjusted return that almost doubles, right? And when you go to, again, when you apply the you know, the rest of the the two screening rules, uh, you know, again, the risk adjusted returns uh, almost goes up by another 0.4 uh, units, um, and then uh, you know, as you do your selection, so on and so forth, another 20 units, you know, improvement uh, in your risk adjusted return. So you start from a 0.3, but your final risk adjusted return is almost four times, uh, you know, from your initial universe. So again, goes back to the point that, you know, uh, you know, which I mentioned, uh, you know, in the final chart, we just talked about returns, but, you know, when you think about, uh, you know, the risk adjusted return, it's your, um, the double whammy, right? So you not only get the benefit of, you know, the increased return, but you also reduce your risk with this, with this approach. Right, right, right. So, <clears throat> Um, I think um, like any like more uh, questions linked to it. So I think also like we'll also ask uh, some of the audience to keep comment. Maybe you have a question though. So you can just uh, like uh, mention it over here. So we'll, uh, we can also have uh, some time down the line of a uh, follow up presentation as well. And sure. Uh, sure. I wanted to give a, a cricket analogy to this, right? So again, if you look at the risk adjusted return wala column, Forensic doubles it almost 33 ka 63 ka jata hai. Forensic doubles the risk adjusted return. From, from forensic, it doubles again by the time we get to 1.23. Right? So forensic alone doubles it. And then from forensic, it doubles from 63 to 1.23. Right? The result is if you follow this disciplined approach to, to investing, you are making returns significantly better than the risk you're taking. Right? Now, this cricketing example both. Mere generation ke ke, I'm a little older than Ish Mohit and Krishnan, right? So there was a player called Vinod Kambli and there was obviously a player called Sachin Tendulkar, right? Both were equally talented. Both burst into the international scene in the early 90s, right? Both burst into the international scene in the early 90s. Vinod Kambli was, was more focused on glory and flair, right? Arguably a more talented player than Sachin Tendulkar, but more focused on glory and flair. Sajin Tendulkar was focused on risk-adjusted returns, right? Uh, he would cut down the flare. He would uh, uh, restrain himself from attacking non-stop. He would play uh, uh, a probability-adjusted game. The result was Sajin Tendulkar scored uh, 50 test centuries and I think 50 one-day hundreds, right? He, I think he ended, ended up getting 100 hundreds in international cricket, right? He became a legend that every bacha bacha in India knows about. Vinod Kamli, even though I suspect he had better talent, greater flair, because he didn't play the risk-adjusted game, I think he play, played his last game for India in 96 in that World Cup or 97. And then after that, he faded away. He tried to become the MP for the area I live in in Bombay or MP or MLA for the area I live in in Bombay. And you kind of know trying to become an MP or MLA is not a risk-adjusted uh, exercise. Um, and, and life didn't quite give him what his talent deserved. But that's partly because he played a, a raw game rather than a risk-adjusted game. Right, you might be, I might be a, a very talented investor, but if we are not disciplined and we don't restrain ourselves from taking faltuka risk, we won't end up with that twenty one point eight percent and that one point two three. Right, right. So, uh, a question, Krishna. So, what are the criteria for rebalancing, and uh, what is the rule for rebalancing uh, in in uh, basically your quant strategy, basically? So, uh, we follow a you know fixed rebalancing schedule. So we uh, rebalance, uh, you know, per these rules, uh, like I said, uh, twice in a year, uh, as of the first trading date of April and October. This rebalancing again would be applicable to everyone, right? Irrespective of you know uh, when they you know subscribe to the portfolio or not. So, uh, and we don't do any for you know no tinkering with the portfolio between two rebalance dates. So we basically follow these rules and just apply these rules uh, on those two dates. The simple reason is again, you know, uh, like you know, just going back to my point, you know. Of taking this uh, approach, right, where you are removing, uh, you know, in, in some ways, you know, the emotional uh, decision making, right. Uh, so when you do something like this, when you follow a fixed rebalancing schedule, uh, essentially, you're not, you know, there's no consideration for, you know, market timing. Right? So you're not trying to time the market. You're not trying to see, you know, whether, you know, something is uh, overvalued or, you know, uh, you know, the market is too hot or, you know, whether the market, you know, is in a bear market or a bull market, you know, you're not concerned about that. 
every year on those two dates, you just follow these rules and then, you know, just, you know, build your portfolio per these rules, right? And what we have found is, you know, basis, you know, the numbers which we have already shown, if you do this and if, if you have done this over the last 16 years, we have shown you the results and we are very, uh, we are fairly confident if you, you know, just follow these rules, you know, per this, uh, you know, the rebalancing and, you know, the, the set of rules we have talked about, you know, the, the, uh, the, on, the forward returns would be similarly the impact. And just to be clear, right, it's not Zabardasti. You as the investor get a choice, right? So unlike in PMS, where uh, you hand over authority of the portfolio to us, in this advisory construct, Krishnan offers you this portfolio every six months. Agar aapko nahi lena hai, you can reject the portfolio and you can carry on doing whatever you would like to do with the portfolio. But the benefit you get in this advisory con construct is you get the benefit of Krishna's experience his years of quant expertise, pura code bana hua, aapko ek portfolio de raha hai, chale stock ka. Agar aap le lete ho, to mere khayal se aapko fayda rahega, but you have the benefit, you have the freedom in the advisory construct of saying, I don't want Krishna's portfolio, I want to do my own thing. Right, right, right. Very interesting. So, I think more or less, we have uh, understood that how quant uh, investing works as well. So, just before we uh, conclude the session, I will actually like to ask a question to Saurabh sir as well. To all the young investors who are also watching this uh, before uh, like leaving, what will be your word of advice for them? How as an investor improve kar sakte? And uh, a Christian, a question to you as well. So uh, to conclude with the entire pres uh, presentation, what, what will be your conclusion in the simplest way possible as well? So Krishna, why don't you go first? Because I think the, 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 the slide that we are staring at is a very powerful slide. So why don't you go first with your conclusion on this style of quant investing? Yeah, so this uh, this style of quant investing, uh, you know, it's like I said, it's time tested. Uh, and, you know, the rules we have discussed here is what you get, right? So it's completely transparent. And the way we are applying these rules, like I said, you know, we do this, uh, you know, irrespective of the market conditions, uh, you know, you know, without any exception, looking at those stocks, right? Uh, you know, and we do this consistently, uh, no matter where we are, you know, and it's applicable to all investors. Uh, so... This is a disciplined, time-tested, and a uh, a transparent methodology, right? And it has worked in the past. And like I said, right? Uh, you know, we, it's, it's, you know, this no-brainer, or you know, we are, and definitely, we are definitely confident that it will work and give you a great returns when in the going forward. Right. So, last thoughts for me. Look, there are many ways to succeed, and for example, in professional cricket or in professional ex uh, investing, right? So. In T20, we can see a Surya Kumar Yadav doing very well. We can see a, a Shubman Gill emerging as a great star. It's a different way. Everybody brings their own flair to batting. But if I look at the more demanding from a cricket, which is the test cricket, test cricket mein, if I look at the batsman who scored uh, over 50 ka average, right? 50 plus average over a, say, a long test career, the, 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 the basics of batting of all the legends who average 50 plus are relatively similar which is play with a straight bat, right? Have a strong uh, strong defense, uh, be able to drive in the V uh, and, you know, high fitness and high concentration. So from Sunny Gavaskar in the 80s to uh, Sachin Tendulkar in the 90s and 90s to Virat Kohli in the contemporary era, right? Very similar hai, the styles of the legends in test cricket. In the more demanding form of cricket, uh, the styles of the legends are very similar. Similarly, in investing, if you want to do long-term investing, the basics of long-term investing are very similar across eras, right? Apne aapko train kijiye to identify, to read annual reports, read out the chores, identify the better promoters, and then finally train yourself to identify companies with moats. There are a whole, there's a whole range of literature which allows you to do this. Just like in cricket, there are good coaches. In finance, there are good books. Core Charlie's Alamnak is a great book. Uh, 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 Warren Buffett ki both the biographies, the Alice Schroeder biography, the uh, and the Roger Lonstein biography, Buffett, The Making of an American Capitalist, are great books. We have tried our best through Diamonds in the Dust and Unusual Millionaires to teach the basics of investing. See here basics of investing. Prosper in this vast economy, which will get even bigger in the next 10 years. Uh, make the most of, of the knowledge, the talent that God has given you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Saurav sir. Thank you, Craig Krishnan, for giving us your time today. Thank you.